Reverend Dr. Charles Apoki. We've been having a series of um, talks, and um, there are some questions that have been passing through my mind. Number one, if it's the same God of Israel that we worship in Africa as Christians, Jehovah, the I am that I am, the omnipotent God, Israel is only 10 million people. The total population of the Arab Middle East is 400 million people. 10 million, 400 million people. That is, the Arabs who are enemies of Israel, who have vowed to destroy Israel, are 40 times more than Israel. Israel is about 0.25% of the land mass of the Middle East, as I calculated recently. Israel has not been destroyed by their enemies who have vowed to destroy them. Since 1948, when the Jewish nation decided and said never again that something like the Holocaust will happen to them, no man has been able to touch the nation of Israel and gone scot-free. From the Yom Kippur War to the other wars that they have fought, Israel has always come out victorious. They went to Baghdad, the time passed, and destroyed their nuclear react reactor. They've done precision strikes and dealt deadly blows against their enemies. How did the Jewish nation get it right? How did they rise from the ashes of the Holocaust to become a nation with one of the highest um, per capita income, very high GDP, advanced technology in military hardware, advanced agricultural practices, ag advanced pharmaceutical products? How did they do it? Is it not the same God we pray to, the same God we quake and holler and shout at? There's something the Jewish nation is doing well that African Christians are not doing well. They have a right attitude to life, a right attitude to knowledge, a right attitude to science, a right attitude to banking, managing finances, a right attitude to their economy, a right attitude to their security. What Africa needs is not more of prayer. We've prayed enough. What Africa needs is more of the right attitude, the right approach to life, the right developmental milestones that we will face. Africa, Nigerians in particular, need to be more intentional in the seeking for development and growth, not just vain beliefs in the promises, prophecies, practices of God. That is, the prophecies, the promises, and all the things that Africans recite as that they believe in. No. The cattle on a thousand hills belong to God. But in Nigeria, the Fulanese have appropriated it to themselves. The Fulanese know how to manage cows than we, whose God says the cattle on a thousand hills belong to him. We must consciously, willingly, intentionally, premeditatively, decisively decide to be a people that never again will the humanity look at the black man, look at the Nigerian and look at him as an object of ridicule. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you.